Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another news update video. Today, we have just received our first look at the axolotl of the, you know, the conservation DLC. Oh my gosh, I almost said wetlands. Even though it kind of would have fit wetlands too, even though, you know, maybe not really. Uh, first of all, I have to say, thank you so much, Frontier. Oh my gosh. Um, so, already I can tell a lot of people are going to be, you know, a little upset that we don't have the white morph of the axolotl, but I have to say that this goes hand in hand with the conservation theme extremely well. I understand that so many people love the pink axolotl for, you know, how cute it is, how adorable it is. I know Minecraft really popular like popularized it a little bit i know like even bojack horseman kind of did that's a whole other can of worms but i have to say i am so proud of frontier for actually giving us the wild morph of axolotl in case if you guys aren't aware there is a lot of issues with axolotl pet trade that really did emphasize the pink morphs and the white and pink morphs really of the axolotl and there's a lot of controversy in there with that so i have to give like a huge shout out to frontier for giving us a really 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 important look into how axolotls really do work in case of you guys aren't aware, the axolotl is only found in a small system of lakes uh, within Mexico, and it's just really awesome that we're giving such a highlight at a very, very, very important species. Try saying very that much, you know, I bet you can't. Um, but no, I'm extremely interested to see how this is going to play out, because not only is this going to be, you know, just an incredible species to have, this is our first fully aquatic exhibit species now i'm not sure how this is going to play into you know the idea of fish tanks in the future it's going to be extremely interesting to see how their tank is laid out specifically because you know we 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 are we already are used to like the wetlands one with like you know the big pillar in the center so i'm not sure how that's all going to come into play but you know nevertheless i'm very excited to see what this bodes for in the future now if we go back to our good friend zookeeper steve he has a lot of other things on the list keep in mind that tomorrow if you guys do follow planet zoo on socials we will be seeing the tools that we're getting as new scenery so that'll be great we will also be seeing the amor leopard the day after that we're going to see a lot more of like the foods that we have in store for us in update 1.10 uh, going for lunch, that's specifically it. We're going to see the Simon climbing frame in a little bit more action after that. Then the day after that, polishing animal statues. We're going to see a lot better look into all that. And beyond that, we're going to get the update patch notes and stuff like that the day after we see those statues. So, of course, we have a lot of wonderful news on the horizon, and I do need to thank you guys for just stopping in for this quick little news update video. I know you guys love to stop in for these, and I do need to thank you all. Oh my gosh, we hit 8,000 subscribers. I did not even think about that while recording other videos today, uh, but no, thank you guys so much for that. You guys are all so wonderful, and I can't wait to see what this means in the future. We're on the road to 9k, and then after that, we're on the road to 10k. That's going to be a really fun milestone for us to hit, so I can't wait to be there for you guys when we do eventually reach that. But for the time being, I'm more than happy to have all 8,000 of you tune into these videos every so often. You guys guys mean the world to me and i can't wait to see where we go from here but again i can't stop looking at this axolotl look at it i'm gonna put him back on the screen right here he is the cutest little thing in the world i love the greenish one in the back over there that's gonna be wicked awesome to play with but again do keep in mind like axolotls do have a lot of health problems when they are in the pet trade so in case if you guys do want to get one as a pet just make sure you look into all the specific requirements laid out by the experts when you guys do want to get one as a pet but still i'm so excited that we get the wild morph in here i did notice that we did get the sign as the classic pink one which i'm sure it'll be great to actually have that i know the art directors probably love to do that i'm sure tiktalic on twitter uh really enjoyed working with these uh kind of like aquatic amphibians uh so that'll be really great to have but either way thank you guys so much for tuning in i can't wait to see what other news we get in the future and i'll see you all in the next video take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days Bye bye now